welcome back to our channel. Yes, I'm saying our channel now because, of course, you know, every now and then this little guy here has to make his guest appearance. So, he likes to be on the video, so I <laughs> And, uh, oh wow, really? So you're playing? You're going to play on my nipple like that? Eating my kid. Duty calls. Hey guys, what's going on? It's your girl Eva Ego here and welcome back to my channel. Now, you can see that I have this really bold new year look. I am loving the colors. You guys, this is like, I'm, I'm really digging the bold lips, these bold glittery eyeshadow looks. So we're going to jump right into 2018 with something serious, okay? Do not forget to subscribe. I think the subscription button is right there. And hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of the uploads. Make sure you follow me on all of my social media. I'll put it right here. Somewhere right here, I think. If you guys want to see how I achieve this look, then please by all means continue to watch and yeah let's go ahead and jump into the tutorial and I'll see you there okay so as you can see I already have one eye done with the lashes the glitter all of that good gravy stuff so I'm going to take you guys step by step through the tutorial and show you how I did this on this eye so of course first things first we're gonna prime our lid with the NYX eyeshadow base Next, I'm going to take my RCMA Translucent No Color Powder and set my lid. For today's look, we're going to go in with the Urban Decay Electric Palette. And this palette has some very vibrant colors, so I'm going to show you guys the palette. Okay, so I'm taking my Sephora... Crease Shadow Brush is the number 73 and I'm going to go in with the shade Slow Burn which is a very vibrant orange and we're going to put that right into the crease. Next I'm going in with the color Savage which is a very bright neon pink and I'm going to apply that in the crease as well. Now I'm going to go in with the shade Urban and I'm going to apply that to the crease as well to deepen it. And for this shade I'm using my number 19 Pro Tapered Brush from Sephora. Now I'm going to go back in with my NYX eyeshadow base and I'm going to apply that uh, just on the lid area so that I will have a little bit more of a sticky base for my shadow to stick to. Now that that is on, I'm going to go in with the shades Sea and Sky and I believe that the darker shade is C. I'm sorry, it's probably Sky, but this is the blue. This is Sea and Sky by MAC Cosmetics. And this is an extremely vibrant, vibrant blue shade. And I'm going to take a flat, fluffy brush. And I'm going to dip into my very rich royal blue and pat this all over my lid. Next, I'm gonna take the shade Chaos and apply that just in the center of my lid using the same flat, fluffy brush. So 
So now we're gonna take a round fluffy brush and go in with the shade Urban and define my crease even more and go ahead and just blend the harsh line between the purple and the blue just a little bit more as well. So to put a little bit more definition in my creeks, you guys already know about my little round brush that I cut the bristles down to make round um, because initially it was square and I'm just going to go in with a black shadow. For my black shadow, I'm going to use the shade Jet from my Metal Matte Palette by Kat Von D. And now I'm going to take a fluffy brush, which this is the brush that, of course, it would be clean, but um, I used it on the other eye already, but I'm just going to use this brush to blend out any harsh lines that I may have in my shadow. Okay, so now I'm going to take a Q-tip and clean up on the side where I'm going to wing out my liner. You can use a makeup remover wipe. You can use a Q-tip with makeup remover. Either way, as long as you get it cleaned up the way you need to. And that's what I need right there. Okay, so now that the shadow is on and everything has been cleaned up under the... Um, I wear I'm going to put the wing liner I'm going to now apply my glitter in this tutorial I'm going to use two and they're both by NYX one is teal one is blue so yeah these are pretty good they're very very fine so you won't have to worry about you know things clumping up and all that other good stuff you know so I'm going to use my NYX multitasker mixing medium and put a little bit of it on the top about that much. I'm going to take the glitter and literally just tap some into the mixing medium like so. I'm taking this lip pencil and I'm mixing it in like this. And then what's on the brush is what I'm going to apply to the center of my lid. Now that I have that, I'm going to do the same thing with the blue. Now with this, we're gonna apply it on both sides of the teal. Okay, so now that that's on, I'm gonna go ahead and let that dry. So I'm gonna try not to look up because I don't want, I don't want that to get like stuck because the mixing medium has a bit of a tackiness to it. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take my eyeliner and I'm going to apply a wing liner. Okay, so now that the wing liner is on, I'm gonna go in into my palette in the shade Savage using this round fluffy brush and I'm going to sweep that on the bottom lid. So now I'm going to take my pencil brush and use this, the shade Chaos that's in my palette and use that on the outer part of the bottom lid. Now going in with the shade Urban, I'm going to continue on towards the center of the eye using the same pencil brush. Now that that is done, I am going to take my lash primer from Lancome 
and give my top and bottom lashes a coat of primer. Once the primer has dried down, I'm going to use Booming and Blue on my bottom. And Bad is Black, I think it is. I think this is Bad is Black. These two mascaras are by Maybelline. These are the collaborations that Shayla did with Maybelline. So um, the primer really helps this blue to stand out. For my lashes, I'm going to use the Sephora collection in the style Fusion. And now I'm going to just take my double take eyeliner and I'm going to use the pencil. Oh, wrong side. <laughs> I'm going to use the pencil side and line my waterline. Okay, so now that the shadow is done, I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of the face, foundation, contour, all that other good stuff, and then we can come back with some lip, we can come back with some highlight, and then I'll show you guys the final look. All right, so I'm gonna do some highlight, and I think for my highlight, I'm gonna go in with my artist, Couture. Yes, darling, and this is in the shade Lickable. So this is my Artist Couture Diamond Glow Powder. Okay. And like I said, it's in the shade Lickable. And I'm going to tap some towards the top. When I tell you guys this stuff is so pigmented, it is ridiculous. Okay. So I'm going to take a little medium fluffy brush. And this is by real techniques and we're going to when I tell y'all lookable is like coming for y'all This is actually my first loose highlighter. All of the rest of the highlighters I have are pressed. All right, so for the lips, I think we're gonna go in with ColourPop's, uh, what is this, Ariba? And this was the collaboration with Karen. And I've been wanting to use this for a very long time. So, I'm going to line my lips with ColourPop's BFF3. Okay guys, so this is the finished and final look. This is very bold. I really think that this would be very good for New Year's. You don't have to be afraid of color. I was like, you know what, for 2018, I'm just gonna do it with the color. I've been neutral all 2017. I'm like, no, we gotta go dive head first. You know, no testing the water. So let's just go bold and bright with color. 
So this is a really nice New Year's glittery, multicolor, like just go all out for the New Year look. And we've got the Diamond Glow Powder and Lickable. Yes, I'm telling you, this is for me. Angel made this for me. Mm -hmm. We've got a bold red lip. I mean, everything about this, I am just like loving. I have not done a look like this in so long. And I'm just like, I don't know what's been stopping me from doing these bold, bright colors for you guys. So, I hope that you guys really like this tutorial and like this look. By all means, please make sure you subscribe to my channel for one. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of the uploads. Make sure you give it a thumbs up, comment, like, share. Put the word out. Tell people what's going on on the channel. We're doing some bold things for 2018, you guys. Lots of changes. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and love this look. And I will see you guys in the next video.